Welcome to One Insight. My name is Rich Litvin. I grew up in London and I now live in LA. And this is a podcast for extraordinary top performers. You see, I've coached some of the most successful and talented people on the planet. I see what most people cannot see, and I dare to say what most people wouldn't dare to say. And what I know about success is that on the other side of it, it can actually be lonely. You can feel like more of an imposter the more successful you become. And when you're the most interesting person in the room, you're actually in the wrong room. I coach around insight. Life looks one way, something happens, the world looks different, and your entire world changes. It can happen in an instant. And this podcast is called One Insight because a single insight can change everything. Hi, my name's Rich Litvin, and this is a series called Provocative Questions. You see, extraordinary coaches don't answer the questions that their clients come with. They help them live into more powerful questions. Here's one of my favorite questions. In fact, it's a pair of questions, and they're very, very simple. What do you want, and what else? What do you want? It seems so simple, and yet most of us in life are raised not to ask for what we want and not to go for what we want. And I've worked in my career with many, many extremely powerful women, and in some ways there's a, a, a mindset that young girls are given even more than young boys. And it's a struggle for many of us as, as boys and men to ask for what we want, but as a young girl, it's not okay to ask for what you want. And God forbid, when you start to be aware of your sexuality, that you should actually dream of going for what you want. So there's, there's a pressure to not go for what we want, to not even answer that question internally. So it's very powerful to sit down with somebody and to ask them, what do you want? And then to say these words, what else? And what else? And what else? I once sat down with one of my very earliest clients over a decade ago and asked him, what do you want? And then I repeated, and what else? And what else? And what else? And we spent an entire hour of him answering that question. And he said things that were big dreams about creating the life and the business he wanted to live and the business he wanted to lead. And he said tiny things, I'll never forget. He, uh, he said, I want to have a haircut that will look great in any situation. He's now one of the leaders of one of the top technology firms out there. A decade later, he's doing amazing things. But we spent an entire hour with him just answering this question. What do you want? And then, what else? What else? What else? What else? And at the end of the hour, we paused. And he said, wow, Rich, that was the most powerful coaching I've ever had. And it made us both laugh, because I'd only said those two words. What else, what else, what else, for most of the call. But it allowed him to relax into owning. These are the things that I really want. And then from that place, well, we began to work on them. And the rest is history. For most of human history, it wasn't called coaching. It was called leadership. And it's what I love to do, to coach people, to lead people, and to mess with people's thinking. If you'd like more of this, or if you'd like to learn more about our community of extraordinary top performers, go to richlitvin.com forward slash one insight.